and basically just started over all of us loved craft beer. Mm -hmm. I spent time on the East Coast, um, Chris spent time on the East Coast and just around uh, traveling. And that was kind of all of our hobbies. Anywhere we went, we would stop somewhere and have some locally made beer and we fell in love with the culture and the scene that it was. And we knew when we were home here in St. Joseph, there wasn't anything. We always just wanted that day mm -hmm. to where we could do that. And finally we got tired of driving or flying places to do it, we just decided, hey, it's a great idea to throw everything aside and start your own. When we first started talking about the idea of doing a brewery here in St. Joe, um, we knew there were buildings everywhere that would be really cool if they were redone, fixed up, because there's a lot of buildings that were struggling to stay upright. And this building we had talked about a few times and randomly ran into the guy that had just bought it. No windows, nothing, but we knew it was on historic registry as a Ford dealership and also as a brewery back in the 1800s. We didn't want it to go to waste. A lot of people in the city didn't want it to go to waste. So when we pitched our idea to the building owner, it took them a couple of days to realize what exactly we were talking about. And then uh, then he jumped on board. He's been, he's been our strongest advocate ever since. We kind of wanted to stick with that theme about local history and everything. So, uh, the boat was made as a speed liner. Yeah, it's a river boat. So that was made here in St. Joseph, you know, along with all the other signs you see is all historic St. Joseph stuff. We have a big Y on the outside that nobody had seen for years. Yeah. We put it up on the outside and everybody asked us why. But the joke was why not? <laughs> Anywhere you look is just reclaimed. All of our doors are reclaimed. Uh, that front door came out of another restaurant slash bar here in town that's been closed for a few years. These tables we made out of Floor joists from a building that, were, that was demoed, unfortunately, a few years before we got open. COVID was tough, you know. Um, just the uncertainty, not knowing what you're going to be allowed to do the next day for a while. And then once you found out, it was try to find a way to make it work. Right away, we're thinking, okay, we can do growlers. You know, breweries can always do growlers. We fill up the little growlers and ship it out the door, but they couldn't come in. So then our guys, that are, our guys and girls that are used to walking here, or made yeah. it to a table. All of a sudden, they're running up and down the hill with growlers and boxes full of growlers. And you know, thankfully, we were, we we stayed pretty busy doing that. Um, but man, it was hard work. We were doing limited hours. We had we had volunteers answering the phone for us. We were we were pretty fortunate, definitely being here in Missouri because we could have been treated a lot different mm -hmm. in other parts of the country. You know, our crew. We the best thing we did was hire the right people. That everybody kind of bonded together and worked together and with the relationship our crew has built with with our customers it's been uh, the way they took care of our crew was amazing and we had people coming in just buying a beer and saying don't even fill it up but here's a tip in a community especially like us but I, I feel like Missouri is this way everywhere a community like Missouri and the Midwest in general um, if you have a neighbor if you know them or not and they're in a tough spot Nine times out of ten, everybody's going to link arms and we're going to push through that problem together and we're going to get them out of it. And that's how kind of what we do in our business, and I, and I feel like that's what every business around us does too, is every time any of us have an issue, we're all right there to back each other up, we're all right there to help each other out. And um, think, I mean, we're not the only ones like that. I know that for a fact. Yeah. So, um, yeah, I love, I love this place. I love the fact that we own a business and we get to to use um, our beliefs to kind of spread our feelings to other people and they show us that we're not alone and everybody's in the same boat together.